gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Now yesterday, if you follow directions, you were supposed to have started the slides that talk about subtracting fractions using models. Now I believe this is the first slide you're supposed to do, the questions on the first slide. The problem is 3 fourths subtract 1 eighth. Now these are done differently than when you're adding. These are done differently than when you're adding. Because what you're doing here is you're looking for how much space is left. So what would I use to fill in this space? Because if I have 3 fourths and I'm taking 1 eighth from it, that leaves all of this space is what's going to be left. All of this space is what's going to be left. Courtney? 5 eighths. 5 eighths. Well, let's check. Let's check to see if 5 eighths completely fills this in. And she is correct. So 3 fourths minus 1 eighth equals 5 eighths. Now you're going to have a question on there that's going to say, hey, how did you decide it was eighths? Now you can't just say Courtney told me it was eighths because that would be a silly answer. And then you might have a question that says, hey, are there any other pieces you can use? Oh, I don't know if there are. Maybe twelfths, maybe. I don't know. Not twelfths. Um, no, I can't think of any other pieces. Sixteenths? Yeah, sixteenths might work. It would be ten sixteenths. It would be ten sixteenths, according to the experts. And you could also use ten thirty-two. We don't have those, though. So if we look at seven tenths minus two fifths. So we have 7 tenths, subtract 2 fifths. Same way, I start with my biggest fraction, which in this case is 7 tenths. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tenths. So when you're subtracting, when you're subtracting, you start with your 7 tenths. You're going to subtract two-fifths by putting this below. And our answer is the space left right here. We can see right here what the space is left. I don't even have to try. Because the space that's left is three-tenths. Because these two-fifths takes up four-tenths. And I have three-tenths left. Okay? Easy peasy, raw chicken squeezy. Let's look at another one. Let's take two-thirds minus one-fourth. Two-thirds subtract one-fourth. So if we have two-thirds and we're subtracting one-fourth, we got to find pieces that will fit directly underneath that and fill in. So what denominator should we use? Grace, or Jessica, sorry. Twelfths. 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 So my answer is going to be how many ever twelfths fit exactly in this space? How many ever twelfths fit exactly in this space? That's one, two, three, four, five twelfths. So my answer to this, two-thirds subtract one-fourth, the answer should be 5 twelfths. I'll do one more. Let's do 7 eighths minus 1 fourth. 7 eighths minus 1 fourth. So I start with 7 eighths. Is that 7? Let's see. 1, 2, 3. I need one more. Seven eighths. And I'm subtracting one fourth. Well, if we look closely at this, we see that one fourth equals two eighths. 
So the space that is left here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. So 7 eighths minus 1 fourth is 5 eighths. Does that make pennies? All right. Because that's what left. 1 fourth is the same as 2 eighths. So this space that would le be left would have to be filled in with 7 eighths, 6 eighths, 5 eighths, 5 eighths. Preguntas! Boom, shock, lock, peace out. God bless. Love you to some kind today. Save the bees, please.